with no basketball activity for Kiefer Ravina for the next 18 months, the Cage star did the next best thing to do. The NLEX rookie guard recently served as special guest speaker in the first ever anti-doping and WADA update seminar especially held for athletes bound for the Asian Games in Indonesia. Ravina was joined by Philippine Sports Commission, PSC, consultant for anti-doping and WADA drive. Alejandro Pineda and Dr. Marian Rivera during the event held at the Phil Sports Arena recently. The seminar was made through the initiative of the Revived Athletes Commission chaired by Olympic silver medal winner Hidalan Diaz, weightlifting, triathlete Nico Huelgas, Chesco Altamont of softball, and Caratitos James Diolo Santos. The 24-year-old Ravina was handed out an 18-month suspension by FIBA after testing positive for banned substances from an over-the-counter energy drink he consumed before he his Pilipinas game against Japan during the second window of the World Cup qualifier held last February. The suspension prohibits Ravina from participating in any basketball-related activities at least until August 19, 2019. The ban was in effect beginning February 25 of this year. We are very happy that Kiefer reached out and was more than willing to take part in this campaign, said Philippine Olympic Committee, PAC, Deputy Secretary General Karen Tachanko Caballero. We wanted to use the event as a positive change, not only for him, Ravina, but also saw fellow athletes Nilia, added the president of the country's SEPAC TACRA Association. I but parim, if the athletes would have first-hand knowledge themselves. And for fellow athletes to talk about it comfortably about themselves. Dot Caballero said those who will comprise the country's delegation to the August 18 to September 2 ASEAD were the priorities during the seminar. It was left to the discretion of the NSAs those who attended, although priority to log a young Nga Asian Games bound athletes, she added. Kasi if it happens to Kiefer, it could happen to anyone. The PAC official hopes the session would only be the beginning of more anti doping seminars in the future to educate and update Filipino athletes. If it would require succeeding sessions, we would be doing that every so often, said Caballero.